What's up, what's up? It's Vincent Valentine, EX Turk, with another re movie review. I don't really don't do very many movie reviews, like I did with Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, we're going to be doing a review of Deadpool. You know that when you hear this music, you know what it is. Also, it's brought to you by Starbucks Caramel Macchiato Espresso. You still have to put creamer in it. And Coffee Mate's... Um, um, cinnamon, um, cream. All right. All right, to start with, I'm trying to have no spoilers, so, um, pretty much, it does have the same, um, same jokes as it did in the trailer. I'll just say this right now, just to begin with, Dead, uh, Deadpool is, is a movie you can't see with your parents, and... If you have little kids, please keep little kids out of the uh, movie. Because after the movie, this is after the movie, um, I saw a little kid fucking gyrating. No, I'm not kidding you. He was gyrating. Oh, why is my student council X-Men shirt I got from high school? I was student council president, but that's not the point. There was a kid gyrating, taking his clothes off like he's some fruity ass fruit ninja and gyrant I'm not kidding a little kid so I urge that you don't bring your kids to um, this movie and if you're a kid or a teenager I wouldn't watch this review because I'm gonna recommend this movie and then I want to get anyone in trouble so it is rated R for lots of reasons there's been a lot of f-bombs drop there's a naked strippers you know, a strip club and it's a pretty stylized violence that you see in those martial arts uh, uh, samurai movies. Okay, now I'm going to start the review. Since now I know that the adults are probably watching. Now I've got my daughter. You had to be an adult to watch this too. I see, it's, okay, when it came to the, and this is, I guess, I can't say this is spoiler free. This is part of the movie. And the strip club, um, uh, all the guys that there, all the older guys like, Ooh! Oh, boobies! Oh, get over here, baby girl! But no, it does. But okay, without talking about just only the TMA stuff, it was really good. It, I mean, I haven't read Deadpool comics, so I'm a little bit new. But I don't have to read the comics to understand what's going on. We know Deadpool gets a, you know, we know uh, Ryan Reynolds' character Wade Wilson gets cancer, and then to get cured cancer, he actually goes to some shady organizations that um a shady organization that turns into a super soldier type person with powers and everything by torturing mercilessly torturing people to unlock their higher potential I forget the na I name the villain I'm just gonna call him Francis because I remember his name his real name is Francis so Francis being the antagonist wanted to do that to him but then wanted to screw him over and Ryan Reynolds uh, Wade Wilson knew about that they, so you'll see that in the flashbacks you'll see in that in the flashbacks you'll, you'll see that in the flashbacks so sorry I had to cue the music back but um you'll see that in the flashbacks um, as part of the movie. The action sequence is Avengers quality. And it really is. I was disappointed at the final fight. Because it wasn't a really big battle. And from what I know about the comics. The, all, the stuff I already know. Um, I forget the girl's name. Shit. Oh, forget her name. Oh Ver yeah. Veronica. Yeah that's her name. Um, is it Veronica? Yeah. Veronica is supposed to betray De Deadpool. And he ends up with you know damage from that but although okay besides the storyline and everything i like that there was pop culture references like when deadpool was like <laughs> when deadpool was like i'm gonna ruin you like limp biscuit ruin 90s music and yes yeah, i'll be honest they did ruin music in the 90s they were good when they first came out but then they rare, rare 90s rap rock genre sub genre out there's a bunch of pop culture references that Green Goblin, I mean, not the not Green Goblin, Green Lantern, sorry. Green Lantern's card slipped out of his wallet, so that was a nice game. And Stan Lee, in the, which was in a strip club, had a bit, had a badass cameo in there. But not, I'm not just only going to focus on the cameos. There's just so much pop culture references. 
if you're not a comic reader, I'd watch this movie on the fact that there's so many pop culture references in there. And a lot of inappropriate jokes. Just to let you know this. You couldn't watch this shit with your mom. You could not watch this shit with your mom. It, oh, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a little racy. But it was funny as fuck. I will give this a 10 out of 10. I'd say this is one of the best Marvel movies besides Age of Ultron and, and Iron Man 3, you know. I really don't do very many movie reviews, but I will for Deadpool because... Deadpool, this movie is awesome. In fact, this is the movie that's going to get me into reading dead more Deadpool comics because now I'm interested in the Deadpool thing. It's a funny. It has, call, it has pop culture references in this movie. Really strong ones. It did have some bi it did have some progressive overtones. Like Deadpool was bisexual. He was hitting on both the guys and girls, which is good to be progressive. And it wasn't. And what I like about it, it was progressive. But not over the top where it forced you to be progressive. It wasn't a forced thing. You could actually just watch this and have fun. Have some shits and grins. You know, laugh your ass off until you until you shit your pants. It was. It, it's one of those movies. You know. Add some action. Some inappropriate jokes. Kept it. It's kept a, it kept a, and it kept some of the comic lore too. Also, at the end with the special cameo thing, you know what that Marvel does at the end? It's funny. He's like, I can't afford a guy. I can't afford a, uh, the, the Samuel Jackson, the guy with the eye patch. Our movie can't afford it. But I'll give you a spoiler. I'll give you a spoiler. The spoiler will have a guy, will have Cable in it, which, you know, come on. If you read Deadpool comics, even I understand it, and I haven't read no Deadpool, that Cable's going to be in a Deadpool movie. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. You know, you already know. You already know. You already know. You already know that there's going to be cable in this. So I'm not really surprised. I give it a 10 out of 10. It's a good storyline. You don't have to be in the comics to do it. It's funny as I'd recommend it. But for my mature audiences, if you're, if you're under the age of 18... Do not see this, because I'm not going to get my ass sued off of YouTube or flag because I tell underage kids to go watch a radar movie. I'm not going to lose my job over that, so... For my, adult, um, for my adult audience, go check that shit out. It's a 10 out of 10. It's a must-watch. And that's just my review without trying to spoil any big details. We don't know if he's going to join the X-Men, but I think he is. Who knows? We'll just see what Marvel wants to take it, take it from.